Oh, right, what's going on guys? I'm Jeff here back again with another video and today I'm actually playing this game Legend Games of Heroes. I've been playing this game for the past two months I guess and I'm going to show you guys, uh, give you guys some tips what you should do and how to improve your game. So the first thing is get yourself a good guild. Currently, I'm actually uh, I joined this guild called Canadian Nightshades, and they are very supportive. They are they are actually very active. Most of them are very active, and they are helping each other out. So in event time, they actually send out uh, gifts and keys for other players, for other members, and so that they can grow as well. They can finish up the bosses and get rewards, get those shards, get so get those yeah, evolved materials. So very important, get yourself a good guild. So the second tip will be finish up all the campaigns. Okay. Uh, if possible try to get all three star. So you actually help to grow your your level as well. In the same time, you'll get reward, uh, gems reward. Okay, the third tip is events. For those new players, most of them don't have good heroes in the beginning so how do you get good heroes basically you can get it from the event itself okay and in the event itself you can actually get this uh, event heroes from the event collection okay so currently I already got three uh, got this rewards where I got this Three star Eva Forgotten Daughter, and I, I evolved it up to five star currently. And I also got this Potent Targa, which is this uh, shield for a weapon. Again, doing events actually help you get some heroes. Yes, it'll take a bit of time for you to gain, get a really good team, but if you are planning to play this game, and you really willing to spend some time on this game then yeah you can get pretty good heroes from the event itself just like i have contessa orchid from the of the moss Vala, the redeemer all all are event heroes so just participate if you have a good guild and you participate on events i can assure you that you will get some good heroes Okay, so the fourth tips will be gems. Now, gems is actually very expensive in this game. You'll probably get the least, the cheapest package will be a thousand gem for 40 ringgit, which is about $10. And one pack, just like just now what I said, five, uh, 11 hero draw will cost you 5 thousand gems so you need five pack of this or five pack of this for 40 is about 200 ringgit 50 dollars so i don't find it worth it so what you can do with uh, how do you can how you can get gems is actually again doing your events okay and for those players uh, all those pl all players rank they have rewards so currently i'm in the goal one position and if i maintain this position until the end of the event i'll get 575 gems and in the same time if your guild is very active okay and let's see the guild I see my guild is currently at uh, 600 spot. Don't worry, 
(ppl) even six hundred spot you will still get some gems it's two hundred seventy five gems so total up of if I can still manage to stay on my po~ (uh) stay at the position and my guild is still staying at this is this same position at by the end of the event I'll get about seven hun~ (uh) eight hundred thirty five (uh) eight hundred twenty five gems so just keep all those gems only spend on two area one is relics or weapon currently in this event the the weapon will start like like tomorrow another seven hours so once it's available I'll get the weapon now so, so second place you can actually spend which to me is is optional is where you can get this packs uh, not this one this bloodletting pack uh, you can get this pack here crimson pack for current event so you can get this uh, 3 star eva on the second tier which is an event hero this one here so you spend a thousand gem you get this hero out and from the event collection itself you get another eva 3 star so with both of them you evolve it to 6 star and you your your get your game in this event will be much stronger okay the fifth tip will be dungeons apart from elite campaign and main campaign you still you also have some guild wars as well and it's important if to be active you actually participate on guild wars and if your guild get higher ranking you'll get quite a good reward as well and there's another few more dungeons gear dungeon water dungeon temple of gold and some other missions where you can send off your allies or friends to go on a mission and they'll get some stamina catalyst gold and also and also rewards okay so if you manage to finish all every day especially those dungeons water dungeons you actually collect this daily dungeon uh, coins and you can buy those shop uh, so catalyst yeah so that's the end of my video and I do hope these tips actually help you guys to grow in this game and if you guys are new to this game you like to give it a try do try out my tips and hope you guys grow hope you guys can play well in this game alright so thank you very much for watching and have a good day goodbye